G'day mate, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, and it's happened, finally, just happened. Our Slickster reproduction is reset to zero because we have a single lava egg. So we're going to get that incubated as soon as possible, because I want as many hatches as I can get, uh, Slickster as I can get my hands on. Don't want hatches, done with hatches. Why are you glum? Needs aren't being met. Oh, I think it needs to be repat again. Yeah, it needs a, it needs to be regrouped. Anyway, um, so power wise, I've recabled everything. Everything has been recabled, er, redone. That wire is broken because mm, it's normal wire, and it's got way over one kilowatt on the actual wire. That's probably fairly pointless because I'm about to rip this apart. Okay. Um, decor overlay. So, oh, power overlay. So, I've I've used a main trunk line and I've got it all the way up here. Now, I have tried, and it's a try, it's, it's not 100%, to get as many heavy watt cables and that sort of stuff out of the way. Um, so, if we go back to decor... Um, the decor was severely impacting any rooms here. So I've actually put in walls, put in doors, so it doesn't impact them as much. It's still pretty bad, don't get me wrong. It's still really, really bad. Um, and consequently, there's now little bits of iron and, and, and metal all over the base. Uh, so I actually set a priority six sweep. All the bedrooms. That whole floor. Uh, that whole floor. Uh, oh, that one didn't get powered. Uh, power. Conductive wire. Oh, there's a plant there. Okay, so conductive wire turns out, even this says decor plus one, doesn't actually have any decor effect on it. So let's go decor overlay. So. You should be able to see. Let's go to somewhere where wires are exposed. Right here. Decker overlay. You'll see that it doesn't mention wire anywhere along there. So. Normal wire has a decker of zero. Conductive wire. Even if I make it out of gold, which says decor of plus one, because I spent some time making oh, that's iron, gold, right there. Uh, go over the decor overlay. It, it it doesn't mention plus one for for you know pretty wire. Um, so yeah, turns out wire has exactly zero decor effect. So it actually means I can run anywhere. Conductive wire, a uh, wire bridge. So, conductive wire, wire bridge has a minus five. So, wire bridges are bad. So, it's cheaper to go wire bridge with two connections, but I'm actually going to run three because... Well, I could run three there. Um, but it, it, it it's a higher... Less impact on the decor. Um, I did dig this out because I did actually put um, some transformers in there and then decided I didn't actually need the transformers in there. So, they all got dismantled and it's all over the floor. Everything's all over the floor, basically. Uh, sweet, pretty fine. Get that done. Get that level done. We can get that level done as principal. Anything there can get done. Okay. So, lots of sweeping. On top of that, um, I've actually... I haven't disabled it yet, but I'm going to. Um, we've actually had a lot of food go bad because it's been put into the grills and like, there's there's a lot in here. And as you can see, they're all got they're all getting bad slowly. So we're actually going to cancel that, empty it. Yeah, there we go. Rot pile. Rot pile's been booted out. Uh, empty storage. Uh... Sure, make mushrooms. 
Uh, water, dirt, water. That's fine. Meal, lice. Same story. We got, you know, minus 13 per cycle. We've actually got food going bad sitting in the machines. So I thought about our problem with our, our everybody getting wet going through here and always having the, the debuff of stress because, you know, they kept walking through the water. And I decided that's what I want to try and fix this episode. Yeah, there's plenty of other things we should be doing. Um, well, actually... Body temperature. Still. Wrong one. Temperature overlay. 32 degrees. Because the water's coming in at 17. Okay. So we're going to do two things then. Uh, we're going to do the first one. Which is a fairly easy one. And this is nice, 50 odd degrees, 40 odd degrees. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is out of decor plus 10. Sure, we're gonna put some loops of radiant pipe to suck up some of this heat. Then we're going to put an insulated pipe. And I'm going to start swapping... Uh, actually, well, we don't have much ceramic. Ceramic's got a plus 20% decor. Uh, well, actually, technically it's got a decor of zero. Even though if I come down here... Decor overlay. You can say insulated gas pipe minus 13.5. Uh, which is made out of sandstone with a minus 4.5 decor. So, game is lying to us as always. Yay for oxygen not included. Uh, yeah, see, minus 5, 20%. Eh. Alright. We're, we're, we're going to go with the sandstone. Force of habit. And we want to get this gas all the way down to here. Well, actually, let's do this first. Radiant pipes. We want a pipe in, up, pipe out. We want a thermo sensor, and then a gas shut off, and okay. So this will be a gas out pipe. And actually, as long as we keep it over here, we can run it straight up. I do want to try and keep it in the wall, at least in one direction. Um, and the other one, maybe we'll just jump down and jump across. I don't know. Uh, so we'll take this straight through there. Where's the wall? Oh, the wall's over here. Okay, so we're going to go up there. Oh, this is all priority 8. Mm, maybe drop that into a six, no, seven. Uh, yep, yeah, still can't draw a straight line. Still having mouse problems as well. Yeah, after three or four years, maybe it's time for a new mouse. New bicycles. Uh, we're gonna jump over that. This is our gas return pipe. So it'll go straight under there. Um, do I want to slow the gas out? Potentially. So... Put a, oh. Ventilation. Radio pipe. Up to there. Thermosensor there. Uh, gas shut off there insulator pipe down down um, across and this all doesn't matter so we're just going to bring it to there straight down to there Cancel those two. Uh, down one more tile. 
into there. Okay, so then the only other thing I gotta do is I gotta charge the system. Easiest way to charge the system is probably just with a gas bridge. Okay, so what we'll do is put a gas bridge in there and then we'll go radiant pipe. Down to there, down to there. So it's not actually hooked up, but at any time I can just add the two pipes. And because they're neighboring pipes there, it'll just, it'll just happen. Okay, so that's that built. Yeah, food is decayed. That annoys me. Okay. So this whole problem. Now, this whole problem is full of chlorine. So I don't want to let the chlorine out. By the same token, I want to rebuild it to let us have have a couple of things. I want to I want to have food storage. The same token. I also want to put all the cooking stations in here. So we need two, four so we need three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen tiles. Uh let's go to slow speed at least. So at least things can happen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. That's a bit bigger than three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So I need sixteen tiles. Then I need a way for them to get up. And I'm trying not to delete pinch of peppers because even though I got a little pinch of pepper farm, it's they're they're a pain to grow. Um, at least they're proving to be. Uh, oh, somebody can't reach all the way up there. Uh, we'll do that. Oh, automation. Uh, that would be important. And there as well. Okay. Can you reach all that? Possibly. Probably. Okay. So I need to have... First off, I need exodox. Then I need to have a water lock. Then I need to have a cooking space. And then I need the rest of the food farm. Exos, water lock, and then the food, food farm. So it's a little bit more involved than just building a few things. Because I want them to have exosuits. They'll be able to stand in there and cook. That's the important thing. I want them to be able to actually stand in the chlorine atmosphere and be able to cook and then leave you know wearing their exosuits um because yeah every, everybody's getting this this sopping wet debuff every single time all right and like you know they collect some food they go back out they get a sopping wet debuff we've also got the pop eardrums because this whole area got over pressurized by a lot so that's the other thing. I, I am also considering... Yeah, I don't really have anywhere to put the chlorine. I'm going to tank. Uh, you are going to be deconstructed. So I'm going to put 150 kilos in a tank. That's something at least. The question is, how the hell do I get it across the tank? Because... That's, that's not a fun trip. Um, yes, yeah, so I can't even reverse the pipe. Oh, you, whoa, why, oh, you're all unpowered. Damn, I missed some. Uh, oh, and of course, you've already got too much on you. Really? Do I have spare circuits? No, of course I don't. Of course I don't, because I wired up everything, because I didn't need any spare circuits. Uh, I could move stuff off this transformer, because they're going to have a stack of exos and uh, suits and all sorts of things here, which are going to need power and oxygen. 
So maybe that's not a bad idea. Maybe I move this. Let's just do it. Let's stop talking about it. Let's just do it. Uh, Pro 6. Hook that up to there. And then... That's fairly neat. Bridge does have a negative decor. Meh! I've already got one right there. I've got lots of decor problems along here anyway. Okay. So that would, in theory, free up this cable to run... ...this stuff. Which we, we might as well just get wired up whilst we're here. It's all... I don't know why it never got built. I'm sure I planned it. Why does it have so much on it? Oh. Well, these never run. Hang on, hang on. Cancel all that. Cancel build. Power line. This is using 1500, which is... All of that running, that never runs, that's got to be deconstructed. All four massage tables are running, and this is not even powered up. So, out of iron, uh, we'll run it through the wall out of principle. So it's mostly done. Uh, which means you're not releasing water in here, which is eh. Okay, so, exosuits. Um, so we'd have to move the ground down by a tile. Then we'd have to put in a water lock. Then we'd have to put a ladder up to the next level. To then put in all the cooking stuff. Which is technically just two tiles high. But I think I want it higher than that. Oh, wow. Fridges are plus 10 decor. Who would have thunk it? Um, and of course, if I make... If I make... The ground four tiles high, I've got a spare tile, which I don't want. So I need to plan this out. I also need to move the ladder to potentially the other side. So, there's a few things that need to be considered. Uh, stations. Exo checkpoint. So, if I go checkpoint, one, two, three, four, checkpoint. No, because then we're going to go down and then up. Alright, let's start with the water lock. That seems like the easiest spot to start. What are you trying to deconstruct? Oh, a bit of wire. Okay. <sighs> Pretty one. That one, that one, that one, that one. So that means that becomes our water lock to get us to here. Then we'd have to... No. Let's go with... Okay, let's try this one. There, 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 there. That becomes our water lock. Then... So this is two tiles. To this one we're actually... Mm, wouldn't mind making an extra tile deeper. Okay, so then we can come this way. And we only need two tile gap. So that means that's the new floor. That gives us a three tile gap. Uh, or I try and move things down another tile. Alright, let's work backward. 
because this is obviously not working. I need a grill. And I want the grill to be four tiles tall. I want a grill as well. So that becomes the new ground level. Below that, I put a checkpoint. Below that, I'd have my water lock, which is now far too low. So that combination is not going to work. If I move it all up a tile, so I give myself a three tile height. Three tile height would technically work. Still gives me four rows. Well, I could just expand that out. I gotta expand it out anyway. Okay. So if we're expanding food this way, which we we, we definitely are, I've already just basically decided that. So if we're gonna bring food out to say here. Uh Airflow. That's a flaw. That's a flaw. That's a flaw. If we then go food, microbe musher, there, which is the experiment we just did. Food, microbe musher, there. We then need to. Put a floor in, and then we need, stop zooming out, um, then we need stations, exo, and then I need the floor, okay, so that doesn't work, so we need to go down to just two levels of food, this becomes our new cooking level. Back to food, micro musha, one of those there. Then that gets a floor. Then that becomes the exo. Now I could even bring that down one tile lower, which I'd like to do. So that way I can have a steeper down, steeper up. Because um, it means there's less chance water's going to flow over either side. Not that it really matters too much, but I prefer not to have it if I can avoid it. Alright. So that means... What does that mean? It means basically everything from here has to go. There down. Um, it also means ladder... goes in there. And I need to work out exactly how big I need to build this. So it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16 at least. Furniture. Cot. 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I have to build it at least this long for the food prep. And we've gone way past that. So I can still potentially put in some some refrigerators, which is probably not a bad idea. Like I'd like to put the meal lice right between the two cooking stations. Potentially get them in fit in auto sweepers. We're going on all out with this one. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so if we do inside of Tata there. Uh, we do priority eight dig. I want that gone. It means this pinch of pepper's got to go. Um, either we slide everything left one, which we have the room to do. So let's do it to save a poor pinch of pepper.
Actually, tubes jump down two tiles. So, technically, that's correct. So we bring that up straight there. We then put a ladder in. Uh, sure, granite. Put a ladder in like that. Put in inside of tiles, airflow tiles, airflow tiles. Uh, put in. Can they? Yeah, yeah, they can go through there. Uh. So then we can go like this. We can actually dig out this from the inside. Uh, cancel that. We can actually dig all this out from the inside and then expand it across. So, Prote 7. Come on, dupes. Come do something. Okay, so that's that problem solved. Uh, just look at a quick look at all the Drekos. Make sure nobody's too old yet and needs to die. Uh, sorry, be cooked. Um, sorry, I mean, um, do their bit for the colony. Uh, that trekker. That trekker. That trekker. That trekker. Okay. Um, now, one thing I did want to do... And it's because we keep having to cull um, hatches, and then they go and eat the bodies. Is I do want to get an auto sweeper up here because that's my magical answer. We're just going to auto sweep all of them. That access is to that tile. That access is to that tile. Shipping. Conveyor loader. Right there. Power. Conductive wire. Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing on that circuit. Cool. Power. Conductive wire. Cool. All the straight lines. And I've just realized with this gap here, there's no way people can actually walk up to there. We're going to come from here down. And, what the hell is this? Can we stop peeing on the floor, please, tubes? Uh, so I'm just going to use normal tiles. Probably A, C, something. Just build that in. I shouldn't use igneous rock because it could end up being permanent. Uh, ran it. Right across there. Okay, so if I put meat in this one, that'll solve that problem. And that's the other thing. I, I, I should be able to have enough room in here. I can actually convey, have a conveyor system to bring clean food in or new food in. Um, we just need somebody to dig all this out, like, quickly. Because, yeah, I want to I wanna get that done. Uh, our slick star. Egg is incubating. It's had a lullaby. Incubation. 25%. Okay, so it's not going to take long at all. We also have some decent amounts of steel, finally. Um, this is running beautifully, except we do keep running short on carbon. And finally, this started erupting again. So, you can see our cooling pipes are doing a wonderful job up here. Bring it down at like one degree. And then as it comes through here, it heats up to like 14, 30 odd degrees before it pumps back in. Um... 
I don't know. I'm unsure whether I want to use thermal shift plates. Um, or actually, they're looking really hot. Oil refinery, 68 So maybe we do want some temp shift plates. Out of iron. Uh, plumbing overlay. It's up here. Insulated part. Damn. Okay. So hopefully that'll help things. Do this. Do oh. Fast game speed. Suffocating. That's a good start. Sun Nova. The door just opened. Shut up, Sun Nova. Out you get. Uh, yeah, our Slickster is working his heart out. And reproduction's back up to 30%. So I'm hoping to get like three or four larvae out of each run of the Slicksters. Um, and I've also realized that if I deconstruct that and deconstruct that, I should be able to put a door in and turn this into a second, um, second stable for another lot of Slicksters. Because um, essentially they just go back and forth. So they don't need tall rooms, they just need short rooms. Uh, Valentine, go far. Valentine. You're the only one who hasn't, hasn't mastered gophering. You know what it means? It means next episode we're definitely going to have to get some new dupes. Um, but yeah, we are picking up steel. I already turned this one on to start storing the steel because it was just popping out of the ground. And I figured, you know, might as well just, just have some steel storage. Uh, we are crunching out fossils. We are crunching out eggs when we find them. We don't find that many eggshells. Um... He says, as he can see one right there. Um, you know what? It's an egg. I'll build a couple of bits of ladder for some egg. Yep, so we need to come up through here to access all this. Uh, oh, and the other thing I, I, I forgot is... For ages now, we've had the Drekos. Now, because we're not taking care of them, they are in the wild... Um, the only time we get to shear them is when we get a new Draco. But we have a crap ton of reed fiber. Um, we need... We found four snazzy suits. There are three snazzy suits. So we need 14 snazzy suits. So I'm going to craft four. And after I've done four... I'm then going to do another five and another five, and we're going to we're going to dress up our our dupes in some snazzy suits, which should bring their stress down just a little bit. Um, okay, so I want to mop quarry nine. Get rid of that. If I can get rid of that, that means this one could be decommissioned entirely. Um, you are still looping clean water occasionally. What is this? This is out. That's the pump. Which goes to the ends of those. Oh, and back out and then up. Okay. I'm with you, dear. Crazy piping. Uh, now, I don't technically need this pump. Actually, you know what? I'm going to deconstruct. Cancel. I'm going to deconstruct the hydro sensor that we haven't used in ages and is even hooked up. And I'm going to put a damn oxidizer down there because that germ is bad. Like we were going to pump chlorine in there. Oh, we have chlorine. We have chlorine. I actually have a lot of chlorine. I have a lot of chlorine. I need somewhere to send it. And in here could be the answer. 
Because as long as we don't have to get in here, I can pump it with whatever. Um. Ventilation. No pipes anywhere near me. So if I disconnect this bridge, put it one in there, then I empty this pipe. If I put a pump here and bypass this, because this has got to go anyway, I could then empty this whole pipe's worth in here. Suffocating. Valentine. Get out of there. Sheesh. Oh, really? It's all in this rock. Teach me to pay attention. It's going to be sandstone. Not that it really matters. Um, obviously, we'll have to get rid of the hydrogen. And this natural gas that causes these problems up here. Really? What the hell is that? Why a bridge? That circuit. So, if they run both these at the same time, I do pull too much off the circuit and the door. Uh, okay, so let's do power deconstruct nine power conductive wire bridge. We'll do it this way instead. Okay, that, that'll help a little bit. Otherwise, this poor oxidizer, and even then, it's, it's going to end up with a whole bunch of oxygen at the bottom and a whole bunch of polluted oxygen on top. Deconstruct. Because you're just going to be there forever, trying your hardest. Um, okay. Oh, actually, I should check on my pipes. So they can't reach those pipes. That's why they're not built. That's easy. We just build that there and build that there. So that should fix those pipes. That's all built. Okay. So I want... Oh, you need power. Of course you need power. Of course you need power. Everybody needs a bit of power. just run that there. Um, this is half half wire. It's half on the new circuit, half on the old circuit because none of this basically runs. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to have a too much hydrogen problem again. Uh, but I think I have an answer for it. General engineer. Uh, come up and be an electrical engineer. Tenth doctor. So that's going to mean you need power as well. Of course you do. Alright. That's not unreachable. They're all reachable now. Okay, so that's that end built. That's that end built. We want... If it's above... I really want to say if it's not above... 35. So, but let's go with if it's above 40. If it's above 40, we shall let the gas pass. Uh, and I actually want to set it to below that to start with. Uh, ventilation, because I want to prime this system. And it should only pump that way. And then I want to disconnect this because I don't want too much gas in here. Um, I want a limited amount that can just loop over and over and over. And that much at this end and the same amount at the other end should be more than enough. Uh, the other end we want to go... We missed it. We went past it. 
So you're 35. So if below 40, we'll let the gas out. Because at 40, it's starting to get too cold. Starting to, not really, but a little bit. Ventilation. Gas bridge, deconstruct. Uh, hydrogen's already at 50 odd degrees. Perfect. So once that's deconstructed, I'll turn this on. I'll let everything pass. There we go. Uh, if above 40, enter above. So we're going to take some hot hydrogen and run it down there. Curiosity, eh, it's all 50 odd degrees, 40 odd degrees. It does pass through a very, very cold zone before getting in here, but that sh should fix our problem. Right, we'll watch this, see if this works. Pipe's definitely getting hotter. 22 degrees. 22.7, it actually got colder. If below, that's what I want. I think it actually got colder. Oh no! 23.1, it definitely went up a little bit. Alright, let it pass. And we'll go heat it back up again. Now, I could reprime this system and add the same amount of gas again. But I think one loop just going back and forth might be the answer for just now. Maybe at a later stage, we'll, we'll add a second loop. Um, but realistically, if it's anything like our. Um, mealwood farm once it gets equalized with just a little bit of liquid or gas circulating around it sh really doesn't need that much work it it's pretty self-sufficient um, okay so that's dug out as best as it's gonna get we're gonna put that there we're gonna put that there all right I am going to put in micro masher. And I'll put them in after the fact. Um, okay, so I want to. Like, either build them or don't. Probably easy you guys get in and out right at the moment with a ladder than after I've got exosuits and everything else built. Alright, sweep that out. Come on. He just picked up 1.7 tons of rock. That's insane. And no nobody will build these things. I think it's because all my Metatronic engineers, although I am training more of them. I can't read what that says. Colonel Will, Eagle Andy. I've only got two. Okay. Praise. Colonel Will. Operate. Build, 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 build. And Eagle Andy. Build. That's why they never got done. Critter starvation. Which critter? Pack you. Oh. Age 25. Attack. There's, you've got a new Paku there. We, we don't need to feed the old Paku. I also need to expand this again. This needs a... I'm like, how does the water overflow? Crap, there's already another egg in there. Oh, I saw it. 
me sweep. Uh, where's egg? So you're four cycles away. Um, okay, you're fairly old at that point. Mop. Nine. Wait, how the hell does this water overflow? There's nothing adding water to this system anymore. And yet it keeps getting more and more full. Technically, the polluted water's off gassing. And technically, it's going to keep getting less and less water in each of these tanks. Technically. Like, very, very slowly, but technically. Um, okay, gas has been heated back up. Gas has passed back down. Uh, body temperature again. 27 degrees pinch of pepper. And the hydrogen is already at 35, 36 degrees. It's getting warmer as it passes through. Okay, so far that's not helping. Maybe we need to heat the gas up more. So let's change that to 50. Uh, uh, on the flip side, mm, it is bringing down the temperature slightly. Not by a whole lot, but. Uh, nobody can be bothered upgrading those wires. Okay. Is this swept out? Nope. There's tons and tons of material there. Okay. Alright, we're not going to deal with that. We're going to do deconstruct, priority 8, priority 9. I'm going to rip that up. I'm going to put it inside a tile. And in the next episode, well, there's going to be some magic happens. And I will get this completed. Um, we're going to put exosuit docks. We're going to put it in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to put in the plumbing down here because I need the plumbing down here. Uh, but all that will happen in the next episode. And somehow I'm going to get rid of this hydrogen and natural gas. I think I'm just going to put a mini pump up the corner and just pump it out. Anyway, we'll cover all that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, do hope you've enjoyed and I will catch up with you in the next one. Alright, bye.